Okay, this is the ADMAS paper from June 2008 and question 6. A speed boat accelerates from rest so that at t seconds after starting, its velocity in metres per second is given by the formula V equals 0.36 t squared minus 0.024 t cubed. Part 1 is to find the acceleration. Okay, this is not a constant acceleration question, it's not a SUVAT question, it's a question where we need to use calculus. Acceleration is how velocity changes over time. So that is dv dt, which means we need to differentiate this. Differentiating is when the power is, comes down the front and the power is reduced. So the 2 will come down the front and will be multiplied by the 0.36 and the power on the t goes down by 1. And then I need to do the same thing over here. The 3 has to be multiplied by the 0.024 and the power on the t has to be reduced by 1. We just need to simplify that. 2 lots of 0 0.36 is 0 0.72. t to the power of 1 is just t. Over here, if we work that out, it's 0 0.072 and t squared. That is the expression for the acceleration. That's part 1 complete. Deceleration, actually. Sorry, Alex. Acceleration. Part 2. Find the distance travelled. The distance is the integration of velocity. So what we need to do now is we need to integrate our velocity expression. So what we're using here is the distance, which they use s for in the notation, is the integral of v, velocity, dt. And we will have a period of time, the first 10 seconds, so I'm going to integrate between 0 and 10. And I do need to write that dt there. When you integrate, it's when you increase the power and you divide. So from that line, if I come through here, the 0.36t squared becomes t cubed, and I divide by the new power. I've added 1 to that power. It's gone there and here. Over here, instead of t cubed, I add 1 to the power, t4. That 4 comes down here and I'm integrating that between 10 and 0. <coughs> I can simplify this a bit if I want to at this point. 0 0.36 divided by 3 is 0 0.12 and 0 0.024 divided by 4 is 0 0.006. So I can cancel it down to make it simpler. Now these limits, that's what we call these, is means I need to replace the t with a 10, work the expression out, then replace the t with a 0, work the expression out, and find the difference between the two of them. So first of all, if I replace every t with a 10, I will get that. And when I replace every t with a 0, here I'll get 0, and here I'll get 0. Actually, the whole bracket will just come down to be 0. So I'm just going to write that one like that. So here, I will get 120, when I times that by 1,000. I've got to times this by 10,000. I'm going to get 60. And do the taking away, I'm going to get 60. And it's a distance, so that's in metres. So that's the end of question 6.